How's it guys, Vix here and, oh fuck, who am I again? Hey guys, V-Man here and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of, uh, <laughs> hey guys, V-Man here and today I'm going to be su- Jesus. Hey guys, V-Man here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a gameplay commentary. So, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I thought, might as well just get it done. So, ignore the ignore this past me in the frame there. He's just playing the game. I'm going to be talking about something else. I'm going to be talking about why I don't give a crap about COD 4, or more of a COD Black Ops 4. Um... It's it's not exciting to me. Shit, you see, I need this is why I need to write it out. This is why I need to write it out. Okay, okay, cool. We got we got it. We got it. We're gonna go. We're gonna come back. We're gonna write out something interesting, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna record it properly. Sit down. Shut up. Let me tell you why I don't give a crap about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and the Black Ops franchise. Ah, uh, Call of Duty. The grandfather of modern shooters. The holy light that showed us the way when we were lost in the dark years of Counter-Strike Source and overdone arena shooters. Call of Duty is a shooter that holds a big place in my heart. They changed the multiplayer shooter genre in a big way with Modern Warfare, partly with its tight mechanics and gratifying gameplay, but also because of the then innovative progression system that they developed back in 2007. This system was created in a world largely without microtransactions and gamers still look back on it today as an example of progression done right in a multiplayer shooter game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was great and I personally sank many hours into each game both by playing through the campaign and by playing multiplayer with my friends on LAN and online. I admit that Call of Duty Black Ops 1 was on the top of my wish list for a long ass time. And I played that game multi <laughs> I played that game multiplayer as much as I could on my friend's PC, and I also played a mobile port of the zombies mode way too much while I should have been doing my job monitoring the networks of big ass corporations. Anyway, Activision dropped the bomb that they were going to add microtransactions to Black Ops 2. Forbes broke the story. With the announcement that all EA games would contain microtransactions, and I love the parentheses here, just kidding, all mobile games, sure, yeah, you wait. It seems Activision had a war room strategy meeting of their own. They're now rolling out the model for their most popular series by far, Call of Duty. Microtransactions are indeed heading to Black Ops 2, as explained in a blog post by the community manager. And items listed don't appear to have anything alarming about them, uh, but I can hear a chorus whispering, this is how it starts. Paul Tessie. Oh, Paul Tessie. You didn't know how right you were. You had no idea. But thank you. Thank God. For your great reporting work. You're a goddamn hero, man. Keep fighting the good fight. So with me being the very broke-ass son of a bitch I was at the time, I decided, hell no, I'm not going to buy Black Ops 1 for $60. And by the way, it's still $40 on Steam at the time of making this video, while Black Ops 2 and 3 are also still at 60 That's the price of a brand new game, you bloody idiot! You released two new games since then, you greedy sons of bitches! Fuck! <sighs> I decided then that I was not going to support these microtransaction systems that I felt would ruin the games that I loved. And I was right, they did. I'd moved on. Left Call of Duty in the rear view mirror. Infinite Warfare and World War II were but a blip on my radar. Nothing but a faint reflection of a long past love of what I once knew as Call of Duty. This is something totally new. This 
This is doing Battle Royale the Black Ops way. This is Blackout! I shouldn't have to spell it out that going back to a previous game's movement mechanics and adding a heal button doesn't equate to innovation and neither does ripping off the current popular trend in your own game. Yes, Black Ops 4 is going to be fun and just like any Call of Duty is fun and just like Iron Sights, the game I'm playing right now, is fun. But at the end of the day, that fun is a novelty that for most people will wear off pretty quickly. There will be nothing new, just tweaking of existing systems, and I don't even have to mention that the goddamn campaign is completely gone, so forget that. <sighs> if you look at the game over time, you can see how the system evolved towards a monetizable microtransaction based system designed around extracting the most money from the player possible, regardless of how those systems affect gameplay, as much as they can get away with, without completely losing the identity of the game. But it's a fine line, and I'd argue that they've already lost it. So, uh, I think that concludes the video. If you're craving that fast-paced, card action, try Iron Sights. This is not sponsored by them, but I enjoy the game. Servers are active and it's free. So guys, maybe don't blow your money on a Call of Duty this year. It's a game that no one's going to be playing in a few months time after launch anyway. And if you do buy it, for the love of God, don't buy the microtransactions. Call of Duty, if you're listening, you're not the card we once knew. But we may still create fond memories together yet thank you for watching and cheers for now